All right. Hello, everyone. It's Joseph here, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you guys how you can downgrade your GTA 4, the complete edition, 120.43 version save to 10.70 or older. All right, so you're going to want to go to GTA SMP.com, and then you're going to want to find your Rockstar Games, GTIV documents folder save location. Now I use Steam, so that's that is what it is for me. But you're going to want to find it if you use the digital version or the physical copy. All right. Um, apart from that, like I said, uh, this is for the game version 12043 of the complete edition for GTA 4 as well. So this is very important. Under download save, you click downgrade version, and then you click 1080 IV and older. And then you can save it to slot one. All right, so once you have clicked slave to slot one, it's going to open up a new window, and then you're going to want to drag and drop this. Now I use X Live, so if you use games for Windows Live, this might be a different save location for you okay so for me it's users app data local rockstar games gta iv and then you're going to want to click the user folder here now this is specifically used with the downgrader tool made by andre all right if you haven't watched that tutorial please for sure to do so in this video's description at the very end um, it's going to generate a save folder location during the, the downgrade software tool extraction. So make sure that you do that. Um, apart from that, we saved it to the game folder. And I think that's all about it. So again, make sure you grab the downgrader tool by Andre in this video's description. At the very end of that, there will be a section to where it shows you where to put your save. Now I use X Live again. I do not use Games for Windows Live, so the, your directory might be a bit different. But generally, uh, this is how you downgrade your 12043 save of the complete edition to GTA 4 1070 or older. All right. Anyway, hope you have found it useful. If you have any questions for me, please be sure to let me know down below. And as always, hope you have enjoyed it. And I'll see you all next time. Peace.